Good afternoon and welcome to the Northside announcements for January 13th, 2022. Attention all students, school pictures retake are taking place today from 9.15 to 3 p.m. in Main Gym. Also, seniors' pictures must meet seniors' pictures dress code, which was again explained to you during the senior meetings. Any seniors' pictures that are not up to the dress code will not be included. In yearbook news, the last day to purchase a yearbook is January 28th. In Media Center news, we are happy to announce the winners of the first annual Northside Media Center bookmark design contest as voted on by staff and students. Congratulations to our first place winner, Luke Tennant, Claire Preston, Kayla Jones, Haley Hu, Elijah Goff, and Chloe Weinsberg. Runners-up included Kenzie Lane, um, Jasmine Nichols, Christian Flinciano, Allison Campbell, Josh, and Joshua. Keep a lookout for their designs this March and April on the free bookmarks when you visit the Media Center. Academic team is, academic team is starting, and if you're interested in joining, see Mr. Fisher in F209 for more details. There are five teams this year, Social Studies, Science, Fine Arts, English, and Math. This topic this season is Canada. The Salvation Army Drop-In Center is a great place for students to go on Mondays evenings from 4 to 6 p.m. They offer study and homework space, free Wi-Fi, open gym snacks, and gaming and community speakers. Also, there are volunteer opportunities as well. Please call 744-2311 for more information about the Salvation Army Drop-In Center on Monday nights. It's located at 2901 North Glen. Seniors, do you love seniors? Do you love free money? Well, in community schools, offers more than 10 scholarships to FWCA students. All of these scholarships are specifically available to North Side students only. These scholarships range from $500 to $26,000. Come to guidance to get an application. Northside will be hosting its 27th annual Jazz Festival on Saturday, February 19th, and it will feature Chad LB, the new Millennium Jazz Orchestra, and the Wild Tigers. Seniors. Seniors, what are your plans after graduation? If you have been accepted into college, trade school, or the military, come down to the guidance office and see Mrs. Workman to be recognized. If you are interested in joining Northside Student Council, they meet every Friday morning at F109 at 8.20. Check it out. And now for our sports round. I am Marisol Gibbs, and this is your sports roundup for January 10th, 2022. The girls' base basketball hall team will play Northrop Friday nights Friday night at 6 p.m. at Northrop. Good luck ladies. Northside varsity boys basketball team got a key win against Canterbury. They play Friday night at Northrop. Good luck. Softball preseason workouts begin on Monday, January 10th. Monday and Thursdays are from 5 to 6 30 p.m. on the K Hall Bridge and Tuesdays and Wednesdays are in the weight room. Please sign up if in the athletic office and get a schedule if you don't already have one. Any questions, contact Coach Walker. In other sports news, baseball conditionings will start on Tuesdays and Wednesdays in the weight room from 4.15 to 5.15 with Lucas. Also, girls' track conditioning will take will be taking place on Mondays and Thursdays in the weight room after school from 4.15 to 5.15. In swimming news, we are reaching the end of the season. Good luck at conference sectionals and beyond. In wrestling news, the wrestling team has an upcoming match against Woodland. Congratulations to Byron Alvia on winning the Don Hunter Award for his leadership, hard work, often on the mat, and his positive mental attitude. Great job. We'll be, we will be featuring Coach Hershey and Byron Alvia on our legendary Ledger podcast, a new show we are starting here at Northside. Stay tuned to our Northside High School Legends YouTube channel for more details. I am Marisol Gibbs, and that was your sports roundup. Roundup for January 13th, 2022.